Before you place concrete, you have to order it. Your supplier needs five key pieces of information. The strength of the concrete, the slump of the concrete, the large aggregate size, the quantity to be delivered, the timing of deliveries. Here is what one supplier has to say about the concrete he supplies for insulated concrete forms. Lafarge uh, produces a trademark mix for the ICF uh, concrete forms. It's known as our Ultra Series ICF mix. Um, there's a concrete performance enhancer introduced at the plant, and we also use a 10 mil aggregate. This allows the concrete uh, to be produced at a higher slump, which in turn allows it to be more flowable. The benefit of this for the ICF uh, wall is that there will be no voids inside the, the concrete or the insulated form when we actually pour it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a slump test for you now. We're shooting for approximately a 150 millimeter slump, which is a six to a seven inch slump, and there we are at a seven inch. So basically, again, we use a 10 mil aggregate and uh, concrete performance enhancers at the plant in order to produce a mix like this for you. One of the nice features of Nadura technology is the improved curing environment it provides for concrete. The chart on your screen was developed by the Portland Cement Association. Notice that the concrete placed using traditional forming methods achieves its design strength in about a month. The same concrete if placed in Nudura forms would continue to gain strength, reaching a maximum compressive strength as much as 40 to 50 percent higher than traditionally formed concrete. You can place concrete using any of the methods listed here, but the most common by far is the pump. If you are using a pump, the discharge tube should be stepped down from 6 inches to 4 inches. The 4 inch hose should be equipped with a double 90 degree elbow to reduce the free fall velocity of the concrete. A flexible hose makes the concrete placement easier to control, especially if you're working with 4 inch walls. Be sure to wear appropriate personal protective equipment when placing concrete. Fill the areas below the windows first and then work toward the corners. Do not point the discharge tube directly into the corners. Fill the areas adjacent to the corners and allow the natural flow of the concrete to carry it into place. As outlined in the standard shown here, you should place concrete at a rate no greater than four feet of lift per hour. Once you have placed the concrete, you have to consolidate it to remove cold joints, voids, and honeycombing. There are three ways of consolidating concrete. Internal vibration, external vibration, and rotting. If you use an internal vibrator, a one inch head diameter is the most versatile since it can be used with any Nudura wall width. A 1.5 horsepower motor should be adequate for most situations. For best results, insert the vibrator quickly and remove it slowly, about three seconds per foot. In some situations you may wish to vibrate the concrete externally, but bear in mind that this method may not be appropriate in all cases. Some designers specify internal vibration only. In tight spaces, you may have to fall back on the time-proven rotting method. Push a long piece of rebar or small dimension lumber into the concrete to remove any voids. Be careful not to over-rod or you may generate excessive hydrostatic pressure. If the wall is being terminated, finish the concrete one and a half inches below the top of the forms to allow room for a sill plate. Make a trowel from a short piece of sill material attached to a plywood handle. Slide the trowel along the concrete surface to make a bed for the sill plate. Wet set the sill plate anchor bolts and install any other necessary anchor bolts, hurricane straps, or wooden embeds. Recheck the wall alignment against the string line and tweak it if necessary. Clean any concrete splashes from the footings, forms, and alignment system. 
Do not remove the alignment system at this time, since the concrete has to be supported for at least 48 hours while it cures. As a final step, review your work to make sure you have not forgotten anything. A sample post placement checklist is available on Nadura's website. After the break, we'll focus on waterproofing and purging. <laughs>